Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So, the SIMOS finally was released about six days ago. And I'm recording this video six days later simply because I got lazy. But hey, don't judge a lazy person by his laziness. He might decide to record that one video about the SIMOS at some point six days later, just like me. Now, leave this bullshit aside and let's talk about the real deal SIMOS, or what I call the game changer. And I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So, the first thing this is worth mentioning is how Linux and specific Specifically, the gaming side of it was getting better and better. And with the release of SteamOS, gaming on Linux will be a thing that anyone could consider. Before you get excited though, SteamOS is still under development, which means you might face problems while installing or using SteamOS. But soon in the future, Valve will fix everything, so you have the smoothest experience with SteamOS. But rather than that, I would say that Microsoft is best, and really, really best. Because seeing a Linux-based operating system taken off and improving day by day is not something that it was expecting. But no surprise because Microsoft's been making some really, really bad decisions lately. From adding more AI to Windows 11, more bloatware, and by the way, now even the start menu in Windows 11 can ease your CPU and RAM while running in the background because Microsoft's basically turned this into a separate app. Really silly thing, but long story short, Microsoft is not doing well. Which might be a great opportunity for a lot of people to finally realize how bad is that spy company. But hey, before you get triggered, me myself, I'm a Windows user and currently using Windows to record this video. Windows 10, not 11 by the way, I'm never gonna install that shit anymore. I usually don't use Windows, but because I bricked my Guru bootloader for my Linux installation, I had to use Windows and that's why I recommend dual booting. Because if you're lucky just like me, one of your dual booted operating system won't break while the other one already broke down and you will be able to use it just fine. Now, now, leave that aside, SIMOS have some limitations. One of them, which is most important, is that being compatible only with AMD CPUs. So if you have an Intel handheld, I'm wondering why would that be a thing in the first place, or let's say if you have an Intel machine, SIMOS won't just work. Maybe in the future, but not now. And also, before you think of installing it on your laptop or desktop, this has an AMD chip of course, know that it's not going to be an easy task. If we go down here, then click over here, then go all the way to the bottom, Awesome. You will see a short tutorial on how to install SIMOS on the Rock Alley, for example, or the Legion Go or the Legion Go S. Three handhelds only, but if there is anything else that you have and that is not available in that list, I think you will be able to install SIMOS just fine if that one handheld has an AMD CPU. Something similar to what the Steam Deck has. Honestly, I was really excited to just install SIMOS, but once I heard that it's exclusive only to AMD, I was sad, bro. Like, I have no AMD based handheld or laptop or whatever. But hey, Buzzites exist. The little brother of Steam OS. The only difference is that Buzzites is based on Fedora while Steam OS is based on Arch. And yes, you heard me right, Arch Linux. As a summary, I would say Steam OS is really recommended if you want your handheld to feel like an actual gaming thing instead of feeling like a laptop with triggers and buttons on top. Because Windows 11 is something you will see on your laptop or desktop. It doesn't fit well when it's installed on a handheld. That's my opinion. Yours might be different. And that's why there is a comment section. Leave a like and a subscribe, of course. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.